Gemini. Thank you so much for being here today. My name is Marie Rose from Tarot Readings Live and PsychicsLive.com.au. Today we're here to bring you your message for the next 7 to 14 days. Most likely 7, but it can roll over. Okay, if it doesn't resonate with you, please release and check your moon and your ascendant sign. First message, ask others for help. Are you struggling with something here, Gemini? The first thing I got was that someone's struggling with something and they're not seeing your way out of something. What else have we got for Gemini, please? There's something better. Look at that. So you've got ask for help from others and there's something better. So I feel here that the minute you ask someone else for help, that there's going to be something better that comes along or someone helps you see something in a different light. And that in itself, they might not even realise that they're asking, that they're helping you, but they're going to say something or do something and that's going to be the exact idea you needed or the exact conversation you needed to have. Okay, what have we got for Gemini, please? Gemini, please. No, no information for Gemini today. Okay. Looking for the right cards. Uh, happy family. It was yes and no. It, it wanted to fall, but it didn't. So this is an uncertain card. So let's put that here. The Ten of Cups. Happy family. There's something that affects your family. There's something that affects the happiness of your family. Mm. The star. The star. It's like, you know what you know what I'm getting here, Gemini? It's like you're trying to get information from above to, to use down here on planet Earth. It's like there's messages that you're receiving, but you don't know what to do with these messages. It's like nothing's making sense right now. You've got these messages, you're getting information, you're having all these odd dreams right now, and, and it can affect your family or it's about your family. The four of wands, celebration. There's people celebrating here. So there's four people celebrating here. So something good is going to happen. And I don't know if you've dreamt about this or if there's information coming, information coming from somewhere that makes you realise that your family is all okay. But there's a celebration here. It's like someone... Someone gets something or someone's celebrating something. The Five of Cups. There's a bit of disappointment here. For some of you here, you may feel that, that you've been betrayed in some way. There may be a betrayal here in some way. And you're getting messages to be careful about that. Something is trying to make you aware that... There's information about your family. And here I see you looking at all the cups that are that are dropped, all the negativity in that family or in that place or with those people. And, and I don't I feel that there's you're not looking or you're not seeing a new opportunity here to change your circumstances. But they're saying, Gemini, get up. There's two opportunities here for you. There's two behind you. You're looking at everything that didn't work out. But you've still got two opportunities to try. There's something better here for you. That's why you've got that card. For somebody here, the minute you start looking at uh, the positive in things, the, the minute you're going to understand that there's a way out of something and there's a way that you can do something that's going to bring you the prosperity you're after. And there is something better here. Look at that. The Queen of Pentacles. I feel that you're going to be involved with a, a woman, a very powerful woman, a woman who's very uh, intuitive, very uh, spontaneous, but very uh, grounded, very grounded. They might be, they might be um, a Virgo. Uh, they could be a Virgo, they could be a Capricorn, or they could be um, a Taurus. But someone here is very grounded, says it how it is, is very real. So 
whilst you're looking at what's not going right, she's going to say, hold on a sec, Gemini, you're missing a point. There's two other options here that you haven't even considered or you're not even looking at it. And that's exactly what you need to find that something better. Does that make sense to somebody here? And on the bottom, Seven of Cups, this is going to bring you a lot of choices, Gemini. It's not like it's something that's not going to have an impact. It is. It's going to bring you a lot of choices, whatever you're doing or whatever's going on here. This new, this new way of thinking, this new way of doing something, this new information is going to bring you a lot of choices. Okay, what else have we got for Gemini, please? Oh, they all want to come out now. The Knight of Wands. Here we go. Action. Time for action. It's going to be very clear. The minute you connect the information that you're getting from the divine and connect it to what we have here on earth, you're going to put things into place and you're ready for action. It's like you're receiving messages that need to, you need that information to make it work. I've got the hangman here and it fell sideways, which means it's not, it's not that you're not seeing something, but you're not seeing something clearly. So you're undecided what to do with it. There's an indecision here. There's information that, that you've got, but there's information that's missing. Look at that. Knight of Swords. That's your, that's you. That's you. The Knight of Swords is you. That's your air element here, Gemini. That's you taking control. That's you putting plans into action, making it happen. Three of Swords up, upside down. Look at that. Three of Swords fell up this way. So, here, the Three of Swords is saying, Gemini, oh, you can't, I'm, I'm going to put it back because everything falls my way and then I need to return it. But the Three of Swords is like you're disappointed in something or someone here. There's a huge disappointment and emptiness here, an emptiness of, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do about this situation. For somebody here, you may have had a breakup or you're going through a breakup or you're still suffering from a breakup here and you're still looking at all the memories and everything that happened in that relationship or you're looking at something that you're not happy with in your relationship. And I feel here that someone is extremely upset with their partner or with their husband or someone of huge importance in their life. It's like you've been through some really rough times here of disappointment. And it doesn't necessarily have to be with a partner. It can be a family. It can be your family. The tower. Look at that. The tower. Gemini. The tower comes to shake things up a bit. The tower is going to shake things up a bit. I really feel here that... Either someone's going to hold you accountable for something or someone is going to blame you for something. And, and here, it's going to require action on your part and it may shake you up a bit, but I feel that it's going to be okay. This is going to give you choices. This is going to open new doors and you might not, you might not like to hear the truth, Gemini. Someone's going to, may hold you accountable for something. Something you've done, something you've said, something that you've promised but you're you're not delivering. I don't know. That's what I get here. Look at that. You're just not sure. You're not sure. You're undecided. You don't know what to do here. And I feel that here they're saying, ask help from others. You don't have to go this alone. Having that conversation with someone can change things very quickly. You're uncertain about something here. There's a huge uncertainty. And I feel that this has disappointed you to some point. It's like I've put all my eggs in one basket and it's not happening. What do I do with this now? I thought it was going to be successful. I thought it was going to be one way, or, but it's turned out that it hasn't worked. And they're saying there's something better that you're not seeing. 
Look at that. You see clearly now. Look at that. Remember I said to you, with that information that you receive by asking others for help, something that's said or something that's done, you're going to be able to see very, very clearly the missing piece of the puzzle that you couldn't find. You've searched, you've looked, but because we're so close to the, to, the, to the problem, because we're so close to looking for something or, or trying to figure it out, we fail to look from the outside. And when you ask someone or talk to someone, they may mention something to you that makes sense. Tell me if you're going through this right now, Gemini, if you're confused about something. Now is the lucky time. Look at that. Anything that wasn't working before, it's going to take a turn. That's why the tower's here. That's why the tower's here with the Queen of Pentacles. This woman or this energy here, which doesn't necessarily have to be a woman, they might have a feminine side to them. This energy here is going to be the answer to making that big turn. There's a woman here that's going to help you see something a different way. And that's where your luck changes. That's where things start to change and make sense. And spirit has your back. Look at that. Ask spirit for a direction. Ask spirit to help you. Don't be afraid to speak to your mentors and your guides. They are not going to interfere into your life unless you ask for help. So the minute you say, please help me, I can't see a way out of this. I can't find the answers. I can't find that missing piece to this puzzle. I don't know what direction to go in. They will hear you and you will get signs, dreams, messages, conversations that you have, music that you're listening to that will all make sense. They have different ways of communicating with you, Gemini. You just need to be aware and you need to ask for help. So ask your mentors and guides for help. It's important. Lots of love and light. Thank you so much, Gemini. Bye-bye.